plaintiff, Jennifer Castor, says she and the defendant have dated on and off for four years. Jennifer says the defendant lied on Facebook and claimed they hadn't spoken in two years, yet they just had sex a week ago. Jennifer suing her ex for breach of contract and defamation of character. Defendant Josh Reisner says he broke up with Jennifer after she kicked him out of their home. So he started dating another woman and got her pregnant. Josh claims once Jennifer found out, she started stalking his pregnant girlfriend. And he insists they did not have sex last week. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Um, me and Josh started dating in 2013. It was basically an on and off relationship. He's a Gemini, so basically multiple personalities. One minute he loves me, the next minute he doesn't love me. So basically it's just been on and off with him. We never officially broke up. So, um, it's a Gemini. All Geminis aren't like that with their yeah. mates. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of Geminis, they stay with their mate all the time. <laughs> yeah. Right. Go ahead. So anyway, so um, it was on and off with, with um, Josh. And basically, it was just like, he just kept lying, kept lying on Facebook, saying that he hasn't dealt with me in over two years. But I have text messages as well that we still have been communicating, him telling me. All right. That so when the last time you all dated? We, um, last, I saw him last Thursday. We had, um, sex. Okay. So you were still dealing with, so did you all know you were, did he, did he know you were suing him last Thursday? No, he didn't know that time I was suing him. <laughs> and you weren't too upset with him either. I was upset. I've been asking him for the money for months and months. But he hasn't. So he's that good that. <laughs> I wouldn't say you, that. No. Man owes you money. You're suing him in court, but you just got to get you a little. You just have to have sex with him. That's so Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like she's the Gemini, doesn't it? Yeah, you're the Gemini. All right. This is last Thursday. Yes. Are you ever going to be with him again? No, I'm not. Why? Because he just, he lies too much back and forth. Basically telling me that was the best thing that happened to him in text messages. But it's just like, the action on Facebook, you're showing me that something different, that I was the worst thing for you, but at the same time, you still communicate with me. How did last Thursday occur? He called you, you called him? Um, Wednesday, he texted me saying, hi, how are you? Just checking up on you. And then we started talking. I was just like, in text saying, he's, I'm like, oh, so you're, I'm glad that you're happy now. And he's like, well, I'm not really happy. I, and then saying that I was basically happier with But you. you knew you all were going to break up? We didn't really break up. So you're still together? No, we're not together. I kind of put Well, you did break up. No, we really didn't break up. Well, then you're still together. So I don't know. With him, it was just like I said. Let's do this. You want to break up? I can make it official. Yeah. <laughs> can you? Can you please? Can you please? <laughs> no, you called that man for one for the road. <laughs> uh, go, ahead. <laughs> go ahead. You give us some background, sir. How you doing, Judge? Um, uh, first of all, we're not here for no money. We're not here for anything but her wanting me. Um, yeah, we did date on and off for years. Um, we had a crib together. Biggest mistake in the world. Why? What was she like as um, a... Well, first off, a week after we moved in the crib, she kicked me out the crib. We broke up, we stopped talking, we were on and off, you know, a couple months went by, three, four months, we, you know, we were slowly communicating again, trying to work it out. You know, it was, you know, I figured we tried try it again. Tried it again. Back to the same BS. So in between that time we broke up. I mean, but what was causing all this? You didn't tell me what was causing it. Was she catching you cheating? No, nah, she ain't never caught me, I, I never cheated on her, but her problem was she believes all her friends. And for, for someone who don't have social media, you follow the hell out of my social media. So she pretty much got mad at me because the last time we broke up, which was in 20, early 2016, around February or January, February, I started talking to this other woman. Now me and this other woman started dating. She got pregnant. So then, you know, make it work. You know, I've, this is my fourth kid. So I'm taking care of them. Plus, you know, I'm trying to deal with her, just at least be friends and it's, you know, you're stalking my life. You showing up at my crib at five o'clock in the morning, this, then I'm at home with my girlfriend who's pregnant. When did she start showing up at your house? One day, 
it was about over the summer, about June, July-ish, June or July, I'm not exactly sure exactly what month it was. About four o'clock in the morning, I hear a ding dong. I thought it was my brother, because my brother lived across the street. You know, sometimes he might come home drunk and ring the doorbell and go home, just to be funny. <laughs> so I'm thinking it was my brother. So then I waited about five minutes. I was like, if it's Corey, I'm going go down there and I'm whatever. You were with your woman then? Yeah, we were in the best sleep about five o'clock in the morning. So then another, another doorbell ring. I'm like, okay, okay, maybe he's really drunk and he just wants to come in and don't want to walk across the street. So I left it alone. About 10 minutes go by, she rings the doorbell for like a minute straight. Now I have kids in the house. So I come out the house in my boxers and my, uh, my Timberlands. And I chase her down the street. She runs, she runs down the street, across the street, back to my dad's apartment building, into his lobby of his building, screaming at the top of her lungs at like four o'clock in the morning. Your Honor. No, 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 no. There's no Your Honor. Go ahead. I'm not even denying the fact that I owe her $300. I'm not even denying okay. it, because I just gave her $700 like two weeks ago. Okay. So it's not even about money with her, it's me. And then she called me right while I'm in Florida. Well, a little birdie said you have a tattoo on the right side of your chest. So I take a picture of my chest. There's no tattoo on the right side of my chest. Like, where do you hear all this information? She believes everything that everybody says. But just so you know, right after she made that phone call, I went the very next day and got the tattoo on the left side of my chest. <laughs> just so you know. Oh it's on the left side with three hearts over the heart. Let me ask you this. How did your woman react in what? June when she came She wanted to come out the house and, um, Okay, Put the flu so flops what on her. Thereafter, you still have your woman? Yeah, I'm with her right now. She at home. All right. Well, you won't be when she watched this and find <laughs> yeah, out <she> about <laughs> last Thursday. Oh yeah, she will. Cause she she will. She already knows all about this because she knows about last Thursday. There was no last Thursday. We text, but there was no Your last Honor, Thursday. Your Honor, yeah. just because it, just because you text somebody doesn't mean something sleep happens. With him last yes, Thursday I did. I have text messages. I did. The text message saying what? It was good or no, it wasn't talk, good no, or that's the last time. Your Honor, interject. The only thing good about her was the sex. So, well, then that's why you I wasn't went there back last Thursday. Last Thursday. I, didn't, I, I wasn't there last Thursday. No, I wasn't there. I texted her. I wanted to come by. Don't want and she was like, no. I told her, no, I told I told my girl everything. Oh, I don't like no, my phone. Big. I don't, I don't, I don't want secrets. I got my new woman. I ain't trying to chase you away. Nah, I told her. Yeah. You know, I thought it was Thursday. Tell me, show me something that says Thursday. You give me a pile of text. And then show she said I defamed her name. In the case that last Thursday, you all were sleeping together. You know, having relations, as we like to call it. So when is the last time you have been in contact with her physically? You know, you all go back and forth. Uh, it was within the three, month, the three months when my girlfriend moved out due to uh, complications of the pregnancy. And, yeah, she knew what I was doing because I told her what I was doing. I was messing back with her for a couple months because... When was that? Uh, between January and February. Okay. All right. And that's when you all last... Spent time was, together. Yeah, spent time together Physical. physically, yes. It, text message. January. Like, January, February. Maybe March, too. But that's about to start. <laughs> I mean, I can't be exactly sure. I don't, I don't, I don't keep track of that stuff. I don't keep track of dates. I don't know. Are you trying to see her and sleep? What are you begging? <laughs> <laughs> This was two weeks ago. She said last Thursday. Right, but you were begging. It took you that long to, for her to give in. No, no, no. No, see. Yeah, I know it was last just, Thursday, just but you two begging, weeks just ago, you begging, don't mean you begging you begging So what time you want me to come? I'll hit you when I'm done working. She that's said, not really begging. That's just saying. She said, hi, it is when she got to go through all that. Hmm. I thought that was tomorrow. She playing you off, by the way. I don't know if you knew it or not. Yeah, I know. Uh, I thought that was tomorrow you was going to do that. Why can't we wait until then? You're getting the playoff. No, she wanted and Friday. I can't you do no Friday. I, can't I do asked Friday. you yesterday, and yesterday, <laughs> and, yes, and yesterday you said tomorrow, <laughs> which would have been the day. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Send me off. <laughs> I said Friday. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and watch all the videos I have of you so I can see you one way. <laughs> she says, please do, meaning you ain't gonna see her personally, so you better go watch the video. Cool. Took you a week of begging <laughs> to get to last Thursday. Go ahead, ma'am. Tell me about this lawsuit. 
Um, defamation is, um, like I said, the on contract was the 300 that he says he owes. Correct. Your All Honor. right. <clears throat> we, out, we have that out the way. Okay. How did he defame you? Basically, like I said, on Facebook and making videos talking about me, calling, calling me the B word, talking about he hasn't talked to me in over two years, like I showed you in the text. I, we still been seeing Now, call, name calling isn't uh, mm -hmm. defamation. Defamation okay. is making up something false that you know to be false, telling it to other people to harm your reputation, and it does harm your reputation. Mm -hmm. Now, the part you're saying, if he told people he put it on Facebook or he mm -hmm. told others that he had not seen you in two years, yes. what do you think the purpose of that was? Because well, you have to show that it was intended to hurt your reputation. Yeah, just to make it look like I'm crazy and I'm stalking him. Which is defamation, trying to give you a bad reputation by intentionally stating a lie. Correct. Sir, what do you say to that? I put what I put on Facebook, but but I never put her name on Facebook, so how does she know I'm talking about her? Because I never ever made a post with her name She's in it. She's the only one that can fit that category. No, it's a few. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge. I won and just to prove to him that he's still been seeing me so that's it just to prove to you you could say what you want your text messages and whatever you want but um, the right side of my chest has nothing on it so you your birdie says right there you see it on the left side you don't want to look now you wanted to see so bad I'm just done with you know she, know, she wanted to see you wanted to see so bad right it's right here he wants to make you wanted to like see it's right there so, thank you it's right there